So actually, no, because Mogera wouldn't really be helpful for us to fight. So yeah, so... Hello there! Hello there! General Kenobi! General Kenobi, yeah, that's funny. That's, no. The truth of Pokemon inside Pokeballs, the ideals of our trainer should be the future Pokemon can protect. Do you feel the same? Yes. Is that so? My friends, because he's... I'm not, I'm not going to try reading his text fast, but we have another end fight! Another end counter, as you might say. Okay, I'm going to stop with this, the stupid end puns. Starting off, he leads with a level 13 pit of super luck for the ability. It is always male. Moves are Gust, Quick Attack, Leer, and Growl. I am slightly scared of this thing, but also not horribly. Come on, Mogera. Rock Smash! Dang it, didn't get attacked. Just, okay. You're going to go special defense, then you'll be special defense. Yeah, I don't know. Do. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. Go for Metal Claw! Flash on like Wolverine. Yeah, no, you're getting it. I don't know if this puts you out of KO territory for me. Unless we can crit. Unless we can crit. That crit mattered! Ogera, you're doing so good! You're actually getting crits that matter. I'm so proud of you! Come on, David! Up next, he has his Timpole! Level 13, Swift Swim for the ability. Supersonic, Bubble Beam, Growl, and Round. Not that scary, but I don't want to take any chances. Fine Whip. David. David. This is functionally level 65 compared to if you were level 100, you couldn't take it down in one hit. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> this thing is killing me. And up next is his timber. Uh, yeah, I want Mogar to get the, uh, the EVs from this thing. Timber is, like the rest of his team, at level 13. Guts for the ability. Low kick, focus energy, bide, and leer. So I think best is just to go for Mudslap. I do also want to get some attacking EVs on David, just because, again, the attack is going to be so much better. Especially, like, and I also the plays now just to be played. Okay. So actually, now it would be actually be a pretty good play to switch out because my attack is... My defense is lowered. I don't want to get Mogera KO, but I do want Mogera getting the experience. David, you're on. This thing does terrify me, and that's mostly because this thing can hit really hard in addition to having a Leer... Come on, I know you can do this. Ah, uh, Leap Tornado. Just go for the complete RNG accuracy hackeries. Take it down. <sighs> Little sliver. The freaking level. I am thinking it might actually be a little bit better to maybe have David go mix just keep growth instead of going for coil and. Alright. You know what? We got two finishing off KOs here. The future cannot be seen yet. The world is determined and can't really follow what you're saying because you just speak too dang fast. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save a Pokemon, but I maybe I can't solve the world. Maybe I can't solve the world changing equation. So I need power. Power enough to make me agree, people agree with me. Uh, that's what's called the dictator, and I mean, it is effective. I need is the, I know the, what power I need. Reshiram, legendary Pokemon that along with the hero created the Unibar region. It's my turn to become the hero. You and I will be friends. You really got to admire his ability to just see the best in things. I mean, I like and I think he's a great character, and you're going to be seeing a lot more of what I like about him later on. And I'm actually surprised we did as well in the fight. I mean, granted, we were ridiculously overleveled for that fight, but considering I'm using a glass cannon, which really lacks in the cannon part, and a speedy wall that's offensive power is so terrible, I can't take out some of the 70% 70, 70 the stats of it. I think that was actually not horrible. It could have been a lot worse. Because now we will be continuing on from last time where we defeated N and made our way through the Pinwheel Force interlude and found the Challenge Rock. To so now we enter the Nakarin City Gym. This is, in my opinion, one of the best gym ideas out there. And... This is coming from a guy who 
loves most of the gem ideas in this game. Wow, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated. I'm Hawes, the assistant director. Since you have uh, visited, I'll give a tour of the museum. Okay, I love this. Cause I actually, last time I counted this, and I love this thing. The skeleton of a dragon type Pokemon, although known as a Dragonite. Like, literally just change, like, two letters in the entire thing, this dragon type Pokemon. It literally becomes into this Dragonite Pokemon. <laughs> There's a theory that it had an accident. Oh, while flying on the road. Okay. I don't remember a lot of my stupid quips from the last recording segment, which was about a week ago. I remember for like a minute I was stuck tripping over my words at this point. I kept saying, there's a theory that it had an ancient while it was flying on the road. I just didn't understand what the heck it meant by having an ancient. I kept misreading the word accident. And then, so it became a fossil. That actually would make sense. I'm actually a student taking geoscience classes and actually a ge geo uh, biology class. That actually is how a fossil would be formed, where if a Pokemon or just any organism died while oversea, it has a substantially better chance of becoming fossilized because things really only become fossils in marine environments. I actually can go a bit more about that later, but this, this rocket's amazing. It's kind of energy from space. Although it's known as can mutate things. Well, this is an ordinary old stone. It's found in the desert. But in fact, Zolt, it doesn't really have any value. It's display it rather pretty to look at. It does look nice, a uh, black sphere of things. I mean, there are some very pretty black rocks, like obsidian, which is just freaking awesome. In fact, there's the gym. And in the gym leader, Nora happens to be my wife. You're lucky, you got a gym leader who is a wife and you work at a museum. But like, he only showed us three exhibits out of this gym. He missed Armaldo, which is one. He missed these cool stone tablet thingies, which they never say. He missed this really awesome tribal looking mask, which is just about the same size as my body. And these bones, which are wielded by Pokemon as weapons, presumably. And I don't know what they're referencing, yeah. Yeah, they missed over half of the exhibits, including the one the guy freaking walked past. <laughs> I love it, just, I'm gonna give you a tour of the museum. It's free. And he shows you less than half the exhibits. <laughs> I'm done stupid, but I love it. Okay. And this guy. Yes, Pokemon Dim Leader John the Beck Museum. It's a great atmosphere, isn't it? So, give this to you. We obtained the fresh Wata. Wata! Like Bruce Lee. I really a lot of Bruce Lee, uh, Bruce Lee reference there. Unintentional other Bruce Lee reference. So, you and me normally have to fight in Pokemon. Find type around Pimmy the Forest. I always have to do himself. This guy's been hidden in books. You can move forward. Mr. Beach Pokemon. Okay, this is the question. So, a uh, bit of an embarrassing thing, I can't read. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I'm actually not illiterate. I literally cannot read a book. I do not possess the attention span to read a book. I, I can read things like sort of like scientific books, say, you know, a book on geobiology, but like the, this fossilization process of this thing, I can read stuff like that. But stuff like novels, I can't freaking read to save my life because I just lose interest two pages in and I want to chuck the dang thing out the window, so... I have tremendous respect for books. I just can't read the dang thing. Because I can't stand to actually read them. And hey, nice damage. Impact screw off. But yeah, like fossilization. I mentioned that a bit before with uh, the Dragonite Skeleton. Um, things that are fossilized generally get fossilized because they're in marine environments. And because they're in marine environments, sediment is deposited over the skeleton or dead body of the organism. And then that just becomes compressed and compressed and compressed over time into rock. And then the bones decay away and are replaced with sort of a rock cast of the bones. It's really freaking cool, and I don't know if that was intentional to have that sort of line about, oh, maybe it had an accident while I was flying, and that just got buried in the ocean, is correct, if, like, was intended to be, yeah, that's how fossilization works, but I think it's pretty cool. Show one of the books, I should be doing this Pokemon, for double boy, first time, don't play. Small brown Pokemon. And I've been paid to spend in the Nora, four members and these questions. Oh, I mean, now, first question, first most Pokemon you met at the front of this gym. Uh, Dragonite. Well, if not Dragonite, then it was Deoxys. Then... Zekrom Restaurant, depending on what you're playing. 
Uh... Well, end Pokemon don't technically count. Uh, then I guess it'd be a level up. That's not fun, but yeah, it's actually the way it goes. Book of Pokemon! Buzz of Patret. Yes, it was Patret, even though it was like the fourth Pokemon we met. No tails, but it was Patret. Like, enemy. It's a pretty like it just, you know, as an alert system, kind of like the the, the, the the fire pyres in Lord of the Rings, where just visually you can see, okay, danger, because far away I can see something happen, which actually makes sense for how real communication is. Flame burns inside its body and gives off smoke its head. Well, it runs. What is this book? Uh, there could be a lot of things. Like, most fire Pokemon give off smoke. On my seat, you find the memo for this book. No say. Find the body and you say what's wrong. It's called the structure of a locomotive. Correct answer. It is yes. It could have been. I, I could have made a joke about fire types, but I also decided to guess because I already made that joke in the last recording and. I know I've made like a couple of references to some of the things I made in the last recording, but I'm not gonna go overboard. But this gym, I do want to talk about a bit more. I try talking about other things. I really don't want to confront this specific thing about the gym I don't like, and that is, it is functionally a second normal gym because if you think back to the first gym, what are you fighting? Lillipop, Lillipop, Lillipop everywhere, and even the gym leader had Lillipop and their fire, grass, or water type of thing. And now here we just have normal types, again. So, you pretty much have a second normal type gym in a game where I have been playing the first gym, and then I had to play the second gym, and then replay the second gym after having already replayed the first gym. So this is like my fourth time fighting a normal type gym, and that's also one of the reasons I just did not want to re-record this right now, because I just, I just freaking had enough of this gym, because four normal type gyms really wear on you when they're just so samey. I mean, I love this game, but it's just, within the span of a short amount of time, having to fight that many normal types just kind of got a big rating. My head is empty compared to yours. Oh, no, your head is probably a lot more full than mine. No, David, I don't want you to evolve yet. So I'm going to go run back to the Pokemon Center and heal up Mogera because Mogera is going to be our power player here. I really thought it could have gotten that KO. I did, probably should have recalled that at that point. And I also did notice that our Patrat was holding an item. Let's see what it is. Not Patrat, a Lillipop. Escape Rope. I like how they made the Escape Rope infinite use now. But, yeah, I, I remember the days when the escape rope was actually, uh, when the escape rope was this way, and you kind of just... I never really gave the escape rope much thought as an item, because I generally had a Pokemon with the move Dig, just because I first off like the move Dig, and I like using ground types. And whenever I was in a dungeon, I'd just, boop, dig, get out. So, I don't know, escape rope is kind of a good thing, and, uh, when do we actually get Dig as a move, I think? I think Drillbird gets Dig around level like 19, so we're not that far away from getting Dig. So once we get Dig on Mogera, we're gonna just be wrecking things left and right. But until then, we're kind of not the most powerful thing in the world, so it's gonna be a bit dicey. And that is one thing about Drillbird I do really, really love is that you know later on the thing is gonna become a freaking freight train of destruction aimed right at your face if you're the enemy, and, but just to get there, it takes a little bit of patience, and I am someone who, one of my favorite Pokemon is the exact same way. You really gotta be, actually a lot of Pokemon I like, like that, where you gotta just train them for a long time, they don't really have good moves, they don't have good stats, and then you finally get to the end of it, and you're rewarded with just this thing that just punches the teeth out of everything. Go for a locomotive, this Pokemon. And that's by a smoke called Lungs using Steam Power. Power of Steam. I you found this place, but I expect to like you. Third question. If you heat up a pot, this question is what is it? Focus on the shelf entrance. That would be... Over here. If I remember this one has Puffins. Sweets for Pokemon. We're in a pot called Puffins. Far away in a region of Sinnoh. Sinnoh is a great region, and they also have great treats. I, I kind of wish so, but what Puffins are real life in real life. Managed to get us to your question. Last, put, last question. Put forward. Move two backward. We can't do that. Move one to the left. Move two forward, move one to the right, and then move one backward. That one would actually be the one in front of us, because we can't move two backwards. 
Learning how to meet me in the last question. Challenging Jim, going against me. Yes, correct trainer, here we go. And now, the last gym challenger trainer. There's a little girl. School kid Linda. Oh, little pup. I love little pup. So, I'm actually at a little bit of a disadvantage for the actual gym, and that kind of frightens me a little. And that's really only because of one thing. That's I'm using all physical attackers. Like, sort of not physical attacker on uh, Snivy because it can use special attack in the form of the tornado, but I don't really count that. Because it's a primarily physical attacker right now, and okay, we got a little up down. I need Mogera to get. I was gonna say a level up, which it did. Alright, good. Getting stats, getting stats, and the level up. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I don't generally like beating up on the little because, again, I love dogs. I am a big dog person, and again, I have two dogs back home. I, 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 love lots of I have two dogs back home, they're both Samoyeds, and they're big, white, fluffy dogs. And one of them is a little bit more biscuit, is the official name for the color, which is a little bit more brown, kind of like a little bit of fur. And just like, I feel bad for hitting them because they're so adorable, and they're like my little foofer woofers. I don't want to hurt them because, again, they foofer woofers. Lillipup, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do it, but I love you. Punch. Mm. Like, Yo, Rock Smash is a move that just, the animation looks like it should be so much more powerful than it is. Where, like, you see the thing. Just, like, you see the animation. Just, and the rocks just, like, fly everywhere. You think that that would be just a super strong move, but it's not. I really wish that it was a strong move, because I actually kind of like the move Rock Smash, and using an early game, you do get a good respect for it as far as moves go, especially when now you can just delete it at will. Now read the last book. Now I'm just going to shut up for this, because I think this is one of the most awesome things ever. It's called Pokemon Biology of Tepeg. Do you want to read the book? Do you Tepeg? Do you want to read the book? Do you want the pages? You have done. Wisdom, strength. Wisdom, courage. Let's try it. There we go. Yeah. The gym leader lives underneath a bookshelf. In a hidden staircase. I just think that's freaking awesome. So I'm going to go heal up because I'm actually not 100% confident we can actually do this. Yeah, I'm a little scared. But, that's all for now. Alright, let's go. I have not trained up anything, and actually, before we start this fight, I would actually recommend, if you have a physical attacker, switch them out of the lead. I'm switching in one of the little pups in the front, really, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a sec. Welcome, director of the Nakari Museum and the Nakari City gym leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you so lovingly raise. Again, love this gym leader music. Why did I want to get out, uh, get Mogera out of the lead? Well, you'll see why with our first Pokemon, Herdier. This Herdier is level 18, with the ability Intimidate. Crunch, Take Down, Retaliate, and Leer. This thing can hit pretty hard. Even though it's a normal type that doesn't have type effectiveness, it still hits pretty dang hard. Uh, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not confident on this one. Uh, Retaliate is an interesting move. It has 70 base power, but if the ally... If an ally of the Pokémon using it fainted to the previous turn, it will deal double damage. That boosted by the same type attack bonus is very nasty. Let's see if we can actually hit this thing. I say so. Yeah, well, we can actually hit it, but I hope we can actually take it down, because... Oh. I might actually need to... I might actually need to go and train a bit more because I don't think we can take it down now that I'm... Just, now I'm trying to move, let's just see what kind of training you are. Uh, I think the best chance I have is just trying to go for a Mud Slap, maybe drop its accuracy, and, you know, hope for a miss. We did do... Yeah. Trying to get him to miss is our best and only answer right now. Uh, Takedown doesn't have perfect accuracy to start off with, so that's good. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Um. 
we might not win this now. Uh, I didn't want to have to bring out David, and I might need to, uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to try and just set up a crap ton. No, I can't, I can't set up. I, I cannot set up pretty much any because it's going to KO me. I... I, 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 do you have any healing items? I, I'm pretty sure you have healing items. Uh, yeah, she has, okay. Um, okay. Play of the game now is try and boost up if we can, because we can survive some of I believe at least he does an eighth of their HP every turn. So, I uh, eight turns with chip damage, we might be able to do that. My biggest worry is her last po is her next Pokemon. Uh, in, in, in actually the previous recording, the black version, I completely destroyed this gym. Yikes. That thing hits hard. Uh, yeah, I don't... I might actually lose this fight. I will not be surprised if I lose this fight. Uh, the Elite Tornado is really the only thing I can do. It's and it is all I can do right now. Um, yeah, my best chance is against this Watch Hog. Her Watch Hog is level 20. Illuminate for the ability. Hypnosis. Retaliate, Leer, and Crunch. Now, how come the situation? I didn't finish reading. Yeah. You now see why I'm afraid of this thing. Because Hypnosis and Retaliate. I said a Watch Hog wasn't that strong a while ago, and I still stand by that. Okay, good. Okay, this is why we have the Chesto Berry, and I'm not faster than a Watch Hog. Okay, that's a little scary. I... My only hope now pretty much is... I'm, they didn't go for Taliate, which is good, and I got the Accuracy Drop. This might be in the bag now. Taliate, come on, Taliate. No, you can tank, David. I don't know if the mic actually picked that up, but that was the sound of my hand hitting my forehead. Uh, Pampor. I don't know, because because I just don't know at this point. Uh, yeah, it's, it's game over. Jeez. Time to go train. That's... That is a little depressing. That is a, a little depressing. Losing to a watch hog of all things. Ugh. Well, I saved before this fight, so I still have my chest ovary. Uh, yeah, I, I am probably just gonna shut the game off. If only because I want to save that Chesco Berry, and you cannot get more of that. I don't consider that cheap. I don't, I don't consider that save scumming, because you literally only get, like, three of those in the entire game. I'll, I'll meet you guys back here after I have trained for I have no idea how long.